If you're going to film with an iOS device for iMovie, it's really important to know about noise, light, and exposure before you do. So you can get your footage onto your iOS device from a camera. You know, you can use a card reader, plug it in and import footage and shoot with a professional camera if you want. So that's not off the table. But most people, if they're going to be using iMovie on their phone or their iPad, probably shot the footage with their phone or their iPad. So we want to talk for a moment about how to maximize that footage and make the most out of it. I'm going to use the iPad camera, which is the worst camera that I have here, just so that we can exacerbate this a little bit and see how noise is affected by exposure, light, and all the other things that happen when you're shooting. I'm going to go ahead and get out of iMovie for a second and open up the camera. So there we go. I'm taking a look at a little corner of my studio, and we're just going to stay there for a minute because there's a lot going on here. It's dark. And with that, if I zoom in, you'll see it starts to get really noisy. You see how the video itself is like moving. Even though the iPad itself isn't moving, the colors are just sort of looking like they're flickering and have static in them. And even what should be just plain black in front of me has a bunch of little flashing color spots of gray that don't come out so great. And that is noise. Basically what's happening is the camera and the sensor are approximating what color they think it is. And there's a lot of confusion happening because of the lack of light and the lack of the size of the sensor. So it's just not big enough and it's not high quality enough to really get a lot of great detail in the shadows without noise when it's dark. So if I tap on something, you'll expose it. You'll see I'll tap on the gray of the pedal and then I'll tap on the black and the darkness over there, you can see that it does focus and expose for different parts. Now, as you do that, you see that little sun icon and you can raise it or lower it to get more brightness or less brightness. Now you'll notice that when I get more brightness, what comes with it is more noise. So generally, if I want it to look good, I might favor darkness a little bit in the shot even though the image comes out a little dark, look how already you can see it's crisper and a little more clean. You know, you see it's a little bit more crisper and clean. So the best solution is just to use external lightning. So a lot of people don't realize is that you've got yourself a great camera on your device. The iPhone has an amazing camera. The iPad is not amazing, but I'd say it's pretty good. And sometimes you can get by without using an external device. Certainly if you have an iPhone, you don't need a point and shoot camera. You can get great results with that iPhone especially if you light things up. So let's add a light to this situation, all right? Now for a second, you saw everything get really bright. And what we also see is that the noise is gone, right? So if I re-expose and darken it up a little bit, just to get the same darkness level that I had before, you'll see not only am I getting that same darkness level, but I've also got a better noise level. Look at the reflection on the gray part of that guitar pedal the detail, and you'll see crispness that just wasn't there when the light was off. So you'll see the camera will automatically adjust. Turn the light off, the camera automatically adjusts and makes the scene brighter for me. But with that comes the more noise. Turn the light on, you see it bright for a second, and then it ratchets back and it configures, and now you've got a lot less noise, especially if you start to favor a bit of a lower exposure or a darker exposure. You'll start to see that noise disappear. So that's how you can maximize, uh, kind of maximize, get less blurriness, get a little more sharpness and detail out of that iOS camera. If you can use a little bit more external lighting as much as you can, and also maybe favor a darker exposure, you know, just a little bit darker, just to kind of get some more detail out of it.